Steve, tell me about the high-speed chase. Oh, yes, yes, the high-speed chase. Well, there's nothing like getting a call from your clients on a Saturday morning and telling you that they've been involved in a high-speed chase. Now, let me bring you back a couple of years. We had a brand new listing. We were putting it on the market and the very first open house was on a Saturday. Well, I get a call on Saturday morning by my client and he tells me, you're never gonna believe this, but have you seen the news? And I said, well, I don't watch the news. Anywho, he told me his house was on the news. I said, why was your house on the news? We have an open house in three hours. Well, apparently there was a high speed chase that ended on his street. And not only did it end on my client's street, it ended in front of my client's house that was on the market with the very first open house ready to go that day. Now the good thing about this whole story is, is that my sign, Steve Nader, was on the 10 o'clock news when the cops decided to pull the perpetrator out of the car and draw their guns on the grass with him with his hands behind his back right under the Steve Nader for sale sign. So there's always a good story behind the story if you know what I'm saying. Now, here's the challenge we had. The open house was starting in less than three hours. The cops still had the caution tape all around my client's house. And the question was, are the cops going to be gone before the open house opens. That is where the story ends.